Hey guys, today is February 11th, 2024, and today was Sunday. My Sundays are kind of easier than most of my other days. And for today, uh, well, for anyone new to the series, the series is, is called Reconquista, and it's me trying to achieve certain life goals. The ones that I have right now is my main focus are to get to 170 pounds and to reduce all of my debt, um, to eliminate all my debt. So for today, I wanted to wake up and pray at 8 a.m., edit at 9, stretch at 11.20, and then go to Grasshopper for my soccer game at 11.40, and then go to work at 4 and go to sleep at 11. What I actually ended up doing was I woke up at 9.30 a.m., so very late. I was very tired this whole week, so I figured that might happen. I did not edit at all. I was just not feeling it, which is bad. Like, that shouldn't be an excuse to not do what I have to do, but that's what happened. And then I stretched at 11.20, um, the one of grass up at 11.40, and then I did not go to work today. I had a Super Bowl party, went towards the Super Bowl, and I think that kind of explains why the day went today was when I know that I'm going to be slacking off in one area, it makes my mind not take all the other areas seriously. So for me to actually be successful, I need to complete all the other areas and tasks that I have given myself or else it causes me to not take the other ones seriously. I went to sleep at 12, 15 a.m. Very tired. As for the daily production, zero TikToks, zero Bomber Primes, and zero dollars for reach. I think that's the first time we triple zeros that area, which is horrible. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, a couple years, I'll remember that Super Bowl party and I remember watching that game and the disappointment of Purdy letting us down. And I won't remember, you know, if I wait to stay or not. So sometimes I feel like um, I were to go hang out with, with my friends and my family and stuff. And, um, uh, what's that called? Gonna be I don't know how to say it in English, but like, you know, go hang out with them, spend time with them. And so for the week, I made three hundred ninety-seven dollars and sixty-eight cents out of seven hundred and seventy-seven. So horrible week. I mean, horrible performance this week overall. Not very good. There, I don't. I'm not sounding alarm bells yet because I know what I need to do to fix it this week. When when I'm doing things wrong and I and I don't know why I'm doing things wrong, I think that's when I really need to take a step back. I know what went wrong this week. A lot of it was schedule. A lot of it was me. Uh, we're also implementing soccer again during the weekdays. So, but I know what went wrong. Uh, that's why I feel comfortable for next week that I'll accomplish everything. As for the fix, I didn't even put anything. I did not do anything this day, so I didn't put fix for anything. There's a lot to fix. But um, I have been doing that, I guess, behind the scenes. I didn't write them down. I wrote them for Monday. You'll see them Monday. Uh, for, so for notes and reflections, I put Super Bowl was pretty fun today. Purdy, per, Purdy didn't save Egg Ball, though. <laughs> that had to be rigged one way or another. That Kansas City switch uh, had something to do with it. <laughs> so that's all I said about the Super Bowl. But yeah, I mean, it was disappointing. Purdy did not win the Super Bowl. Uh, a lot of demonic stuff going on with the dances, uh, the lady in red, uh, this whole thing with 13 and Taylor Swift, and she's like a big fan of the number 13. I think that number 13 might be the number of rebellion, and it has a lot of associations with other things. Um, but I saw a graphic, and it was like, well, she loves 13, Party Wars 13, Mahomes' last drive was 13 plays, and there was a lot more stuff, and it all ended up to 13. Coincidence? I don't think so. Um, yeah, it, may, it makes you think, like, oh, maybe it's all fake. It's still fun to watch. It's entertainment, but, um, yeah, definitely fake. As for me, this week was semi-successful. Best part about it has been the momentum I created about losing weight. This mostly got cooked with everything I ate today, haha, uh -huh. and it did. Spoiler. <laughs> I'll talk about that tomorrow. What I really want to focus on next week is to get my fitness done early and to achieve my $111 a day quota. I'm pretty good right now with bills, but I have to keep accumulating money or else in two or three months, I'm going to be in struggle mode again. One thing I've been doing too much this week is reminiscing. I should stop that. It doesn't help anyone. I also spent too much time watching shows this week. Yeah, like I mentioned, I watched Jujutsu Kaisen. Great show. Probably one of my favorite animes now. Gojo's a goat. But, um, 
I spent way too much time on that. And I can't afford it. There was times where you watch an episode when you're eating. I think that's fine. But afterwards, I need to go back on go mode. So I need to be able to switch from, you know, relax to go mode, relax to go mode. Especially since, you know, I'm not particularly in the right situation. I feel like once I have zero debt, there'll be a little, a little bit more leeway. But for right now, I can't step, you know, the foot out of the cast battle. So Gojo is a goat, but I could have gotten more work done. <laughs> True. I know after everything I ate, I won't, I won't recover until Wednesday, um, which is true. Um, I ate really bad, badly today, like really badly. I stuffed myself. I was looking forward to it because I hadn't, you know, like I've been strict to my diet to an extent. I've had days where I eat a little bad snack or two, but I've never had, I haven't had like a meal where I'm like, I'm eating like trash today. Not since it started, so it's almost been like, you know, 41, 42 days of good eating. And man, I, I was like, oh, I'm not going to recover until Wednesday with this meal. Um, and I probably won't. Grasshopper went quite well as well. We won 5-1 and the team played very well. The team is really coming together in this last stretch of the season. A couple more wins and we'll secure the top eight for sure. I really want to get my fixes done this week. I've truly been slacking in that aspect, true. Life loves speed and I'm moving way too slow. I also realized that my focus needs to increase in the sense that it is better to master one thing than to master many. And there's something that I've internally been fighting about for a while because, so I'll talk about it like this. I think most people who master one thing get a lot much more recognition and a lot more money and a lot more this and a lot more that, right? Because they master one thing and they're the best at it. So people, I guess, pay for that service or they like to see whatever they do, but they master one skill and it's very valuable. In my personal opinion, I think having one skill of course, it's way better than having many different skills. But to be more well-rounded, I think if you max out everything to like 70, 80 percent. Or is it? It's because I'm not fighting about it. That's why I'm fighting around in my head. Because I'm like, if you can max, you can clue, you know, or like be very good at like, you know, two to three things. Are you more well-rounded than the person who's really good at one thing? And I think it depends, right? How much power, how much money, how much influence. So, I still think the, the master of one skill wins every single time. But if you master one skill, don't will you have like more ability to master the other ones? Since it gives you money, it frees up your time. Maybe it does. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm leaning towards that one. I think mastering one skill is more much more important than to master many of them. But I think you you are more well-rounded and more suited for like a lot of different situations if you're if you're like well-rounded i think you're also a better leader when you know a lot about different things and you like you have more skills and aspects than if you just have one um how can i say this <laughs> it's almost like Okay, I'll relate to sports. It's the only way I can think of it. Like, your star player is not necessarily your captain, right? Because your star player is very talented and very skillful. But he might like areas and different things that doesn't exactly make them, like, leadership material. But the captain of your team probably has his attributes distributed pretty evenly um and it makes them better i don't know if i'm explaining myself well but um i guess it just depends who you want to be right like very skilled individuals are goaded at that one thing and that can bring them a lot i don't know I don't think I have a particular talent like that, that I could just like, uh, I guess, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Like use? No, what is that called? Like, uh, 
not explode what's it called <laughs> i don't know but use like really 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 use um uh, to make something so i think i'm gonna go the other path so maybe that's what it is if you have the talent and the skill you chase that one talented skill so you're the best at it and if you don't have a particular talent skill i guess just try to max out a little bit of everything um that's all that's what i'll leave it today but as for the calories today i didn't even take pictures i'm not gonna lie i said it was over three thousand. i don't even know and my weight in the morning was 235.5 but i doubt tomorrow that's gonna be anywhere near it i probably gained like five ten pounds i'm not gonna lie that's so much so we'll see but yeah uh see you guys next time adios